Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Carla. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you have, welcome back, like always. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, so first and foremost, my daughter's taking a shower and she loves to take a shower with music. So you might hear her <laughs> in the background, so I apologize for that. Um, but I can't wait any longer to film. I meant, meant to film earlier today, but it was raining so bad that I was like, there's no way I can. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get started. So today's video is a fun one. I am going to be sharing with you guys the Wet and Wild and Little Twin Stars collection. I know I'm a bit late on this collection. I've had it sitting here for a little bit, um, but as you guys might know, I had surgery and so I haven't really be been filming any videos or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just catching up with a lot of things. I have a lot of videos to film, so I hope that you guys don't mind that I'm a little bit late. I know that their new collection just launched, the Care Bear collection, um, but we're gonna we're gonna film this one because I bought this box and so I want to film it. Um, but you can still get this collection. You can actually get the entire box um, on Amazon, and you can also get bits and pieces on Amazon, and you can also get bits and pieces at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Yes, people have been finding the collection there already, so you can still get this collection if you guys are interested and actually the whole entire collection is not that expensive on amazon so just keep that in mind i will link it down below so you guys will have access or easy access to the link um so yeah look at this box this box is so beautiful this is the front of the box and then this is the back of the box which is so freaking beautiful so so pretty i am a fan of sanrio which is um the makers of live twin stars they're also the makers of hello kitty um and all those cute little fun characters i have a baby blue shirt on this is um this is not little twin stars though um it's my precious moment but i got this shirt uh at forever 21 a while ago i don't think they still sell it but it's super cute. It is see-through, so you can see my bra. <laughs> um, but it's a very cute shirt, and I thought it would be fun to wear for this video since we're all very pastel and clouds and baby uh, kind of uh, themed. So yeah, let's get started with uh, this box. Like I said, this is the front of the box, and then when you open it, this is how it looks on the inside. I did get my box from Ulta when it launched um, a little bit ago. Because <laughs> um, Ulta has been starting to sell like these PR boxes, you will call them. Um, so I did get mine from Ulta and like always I use coupons and rewards and stuff like that. I actually used a lot of rewards on this box so I didn't pay for the actual price of the box. Uh, but then on the inside it says, friends are like stars. You can't see them, but you know they are always there for you. I think that is so beautiful. So, so cute. And then we have all of the stuff here. We're going to go through all this stuff. So I'm just going to put it here because it's kind of heavy and kind of big. Um, so I'm just going to pull out as we go. I'm actually wearing some of the products on my face. I don't... I didn't feel the need to like film like how I got my makeup done. It was very simple. I'll walk you through it when we get to the eyeshadow palette. Um, so in the kit, we have a two uh, face brushes here. We have a face brush and then we have an eye an eyeshadow brush. This is the Star Power Makeup Brush Set. And the packaging itself is just so freaking adorable. So, so cute. And in here we get a powder brush and an eyeshadow brush, like I said. Here is what the powder brush looks like. And it's one of those handles that has all that glitter on the inside and it moves around as you flip the brush. And the Wet n Wild brushes are always good. It doesn't matter if they're in a collection or if they sell the actual brushes by themselves. Like, 
their brushes are always really really good and this brush i will use for like bronzer or maybe even to like set my under eye but it's it's not really a brush that i will use all over my face um, but still very adorable and then we have the eyeshadow brush right here and this one has pink white and silver glitter on the handle and it comes out comes down just like the other brush super cute and i love the white and the clear on the brush and like i said wet and wild brushes are always really good so that was the first thing in the box the box also came with this adorable um like makeup bag it's so cute it has the little twin stars right here and then it has a pink star on and the zipper handle the bag itself is clear it says what a wild on the front and then um on the bottom of the makeup bag it has that same glitter that's on the brushes it's like stars and moons and it's like blue and purple and clear and it's just very very adorable i actually didn't think that the bag came with the box because i was looking at all the lists of everything that came in the box and this was not a part of it so i actually ended up um, purchasing this separate um and when i got the box it was part of the box so i just gave the extra one to my daughter we have the little pencil case here and and this is the starry eyes four piece eyeliner set and here it's the packaging very adorable comes with four eyeliners comes with a white a yellow a pink and a blue i am wearing the blue on my waterline but i do have to say that it's not very pigmented on my waterline but i will show you guys on my hand what it looks like they're very soft and very shiny as well so here are the colors. We have the blue one, which, which is very shiny. We have the pink, which is matte. We have the yellow, which is more like a gold, and it's shiny as well. Then we have the white one, which is a matte. And they're pretty pigmented, I have to say. And the blue one in my eyes didn't really show up much, but um, the others, especially the pink and the white, look like they're very pigmented. So, um, very cute little pencil. Then we also have here the setting spray and this is the Twinkle Star Glow Face Mist and it's that type of mist that they did it for the Spongebob collection as well that has like that shiny like reflectiveness to it. It's not really glitter because it doesn't look like glitter but it has like that fine like that super fine shimmer in the bottle and again it has the little twin stars right here very adorable bottle a pink uh, lid it says shake me and you have to shake it really well because the little fine glitter tends to stay on the bottom. I did spray it on my face and I don't feel like it um left any type of like glitter or anything on my face it is says that it is like a glow face mist but i don't think that it left me glowy either um but it it, it, it is a nice mist like the wet and wild mists are or setting mists are always very very nice so it's one that i'm definitely going to keep using okay next we do have some lip products we have two lip mousses and we have two lip glosses i am wearing a combination of two of them so the ones that i have on my lips are a combination of the lip mousse in lost in a cloud which is this very pretty uh, hot pink and on top i put the lip gloss in starstruck which is this pretty like pink with lots of glitter but you can't really see the glitter much on the lips so it's very nice so i am wearing a combination of uh, these two but then on the line we also get another lip mousse in the color on candy cloud nine which is this pretty like pink purple lip mousse. pink purple lip mousse 
and then it also has or it also came with this my lucky stars lip gloss which is like a beautiful pink purple um, gloss with glitter and the packaging is super adorable of course we have uh, one of the twin stars here the one with the blue hair also in this lip mousse and then we have the one with the pink hair and then these two lip colors right here and the lid is also very pretty it's clouds and stars and it's just so pretty like the packaging is so beautiful and I'm gonna swatch it so you guys can see and the lip, lip mousses are very comfortable um, they don't dry matte they're kind of like like lipsticks but they're kind of sheer as well they're not very pigmented um, but they, they feel nice they're very hydrating to the lips and I appreciate that so here are the lips right here this is the one that I am wearing on my lips so we have first up here we have a uh, lost in a cloud lip mousse then the little purplish one is called on candy cloud nine lip mousse then we have then we have this lip gloss right here which is starstruck which is this one and then the last one this one right here is called my lucky star which is this one very pretty very shiny okay moving on to the next item in the box is this beautiful little cup so this is the uh, little twin stars makeup brush cup it's so stinking cute this is a so cute so beautiful here's the little twin stars right there it's so beautiful now I don't know if necessarily um, it would be like a good makeup brush just because like I feel like your brushes are, like, are a little like tall so they might like start to fall off the side um, but maybe you can keep like littler or more smaller brushes um, but this is so so cute I would actually keep it here with like lip products I would <laughs> It's so cute. I just love it so much. This whole collection was done so well. It's done so cute. Even the packaging on the outside, everything. It's just so adorable. All the details are so cute. So beautiful. Look at that little bunny. Look at that cute little bunny. It's so adorable. It's so cute. Also, we have uh, two makeup sponges. I did not use these today. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the entire collection. I might share the collection with my sister. Uh, my sister is a Little Twin Stars fan, so I might um, either gift her the whole thing or I might um, split it with her. But I did not use any of the sponges. I might give both of these to her, but we have the Little Twin Stars right there. There's one right there, and here's the other. And um, Wet n Wild sponges are always very very nice um here's the packaging again super cute they killed it with the packaging everything is beautiful okay moving on we have two more lip products we have a lip scrub and we have a lip balm very cute as well we have the blue guy here and the pink girl right here i don't know if they have individual names or if they're just called my little twin stars um, let me know down in the comments if you know if they have individual names. Um, but I did try the lip balm and I did not like it at all. It's very dry on the lips. It does not feel nice at all. So I will have to give this a hard pass. And it doesn't even feel hydrating or anything. It just feels super dry. Um, and then the lip scrub I haven't tried yet. So I don't know what to think about that one. And they don't really have a scent per se. Um, I don't really feel, oh, there we go. I feel the scrubbies now. Um, I don't know how this is going to feel on the lips on my hands. It just feels very dry as well. It feels kind of like Vaseline. That's how it feels on my hand. 
Um, so these, I will have to say, they're my least favorite part of the entire collection, just because I don't like the way they feel. Okay. Then we have another little uh, cute little accessory here. This is the Wish Upon a Cloud makeup sponge case. So this is a little case for you to take your sponges so it can be more sanitary. And it's also very cute. That does not feel at all how I thought it was going to feel. I thought it was going to be like hard, but it's actually like very soft and like silicone. Um, but this is where you keep it, your sponges and it's just so cute. It's like this um, white, white, like off white um, silicone with like a lot of glitter. And then you have the two little stars right here. I hope you guys can see them right there. And then it says when wild and twin stars on the back very cute the only thing is that it kind of just opens very easily so i don't know like i don't know if it's safe to travel with this i would say um it's maybe cute to just put somewhere and just keep it there that might be good but for like traveling and having it in your suitcase or in your purse or something um it doesn't seem like it's functional actually but it's very cute it's very very cute and then we have two little face palettes here and i have to say that these face palettes are um one of my favorite things if not the favorite thing in the entire box these are so good they uh, i'm wearing this one specifically i'm wearing the blush and the highlight off of this little guy and you can see how nice that highlight is and how pretty the blush is um so here's what it looks like and both of these face palettes come with glitter as well and i do have the blue glitter as part of my eyeshadow look so i do have some of this glitter on my eyes today and it's it, it looks really nice like I don't have any complaints it didn't take a, it didn't take off my eyeshadow um, it was really nice I applied it with my finger I just tapped it the only thing is that these this one this blue one well and the and the pink one as well comes with stars and moons and I tried to put some of the stars and the moons in my eyelids but they wouldn't stick they would just fall off so um they're kind of hard you might have to use like a glitter glue or something to kind of get them to stick but they're very cute like i said they didn't mess with the eyeshadow underneath so that's really nice it's not like some of those um glitters that kind of feel like vaseline and when you put them on your eyeshadow it kind of takes it away um those don't feel like or these don't feel like those um so yeah i have this one on my face let me swatch it for you so you guys can see what it looks like so here is this face palette very beautiful i love the blush and the highlight so beautiful um so they don't have names really it just says blush highlight and glitter so that's so pretty look at that that highlight I'm telling you that highlight is so freaking beautiful now let me show you what the other one looks now, like this one i do have that blue highlight in my inner corner and on my brow bone okay and here is how this one looks that blue highlight is so pretty as well and the blush is also very pretty um it looks a little bit darker than the one in the pink palette but it's actually more like brighter <laughs> so it's actually very cute very pretty I love these. I think these are so good. If you find these, I definitely recommend them, especially the pink one, because it's more wearable, obviously. But the pink one is so beautiful. That high that highlight alone. Beautiful. Okay, and finally we have the eyeshadow palette. And this is the Cotton Candy Clouds palette. Um, it's so so pretty. They do have names, but they're on the back. Um let me open it first of all super cute everything adorable and then here we have all the colors and i do have to say that they are very wearable colors and they're very pastel and they're very soft too it took me a little bit to build up this blue one which is 
um, this shade right here. It took me a minute to build it and I did have to wet it a couple of times, um, but I got it to look very pretty because they are very pastel-y. Um, but let me tell you something about this palette, you guys. Like, I looked at this palette and there were so many looks that I wanted to create with it. So for the first time ever, it was hard for me to decide on a look. Normally, I look at an eyeshadow palette and I'm like, oh man, what do I want to do? And I kind of have a hard time like coming up with something different, something exciting. But with this one, I was looking at all the shades and I was like, oh my god, I want to do a blue. No, I want to do a purple. No, I want to do a pink. Oh my gosh, this gold one is so beautiful. I can do a gold look. So there's so many looks that you can create with this little palette and it's so wearable. Like you can wear it on your everyday life. Like this whole six pan right here, you can wear on your everyday life um the little pink colors here or even this light blue or this light purple you can wear every single day and then if you wanted to add a pop of color there you go you have it as well so this palette is actually really nice i'm going to swatch the colors for you guys okay so we have the first row right here as you guys can see they're not like the most pigmented um colors but going from this side over okay. here we have twinning we have Timid, Sugar High, Lala, and Double the Fun, which is the purple. Okay, the second row got a little bit more pigmented. We have um, Sweetest Candy. We have December 24, Moondust, Kiki, and Curious. Okay, and then the last row here, we have Thinking Out Loud, Moonbeam, Starfishing, Starfishing, Fluffy Skies, and Dreaming or Dream Galaxy. So very, very cute palette. As you guys could see, the first row wasn't the most pigmented, but the second and third row were very pigmented. Um, they were also very easy to blend. I didn't have any problems with them um, not blending good or being too dry. They're all very soft, very nice. The glitters are very nice as well. Um, it seems like it's glitter all the way through, not just like a top coat or anything. So that's very Same nice. Again, because the little four pan palettes that went a while has taken on in the past, the glitters, they're horrible. They suck. These don't feel like that at all. These are actually very good glitters. Um, it's a very nice palette. I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, the way that I created my look today was um, I used I used this shade right here all over the crease. Once I got it to like a nice brown that I wanted, I moved on to the blue one right here and I built it up all over the lid, built it up to the color that I desired. Then I put this one right in the center. Um, I did use a brush and I did wet it. Um, and then I used the glitter in the face palette and I put that in the center as well um because that one is more of a chunky glitter this one is more like a fine glitter um then I used this dark purple on under my eyes and I used the blue pencil for my waterline and that is all I did on my eyes today I felt like this little eyeshadow palette it's very cute it's a very cute everyday eyeshadow palette it's also a very cute eyeshadow palette to give to somebody who maybe is just starting with makeup. Like my daughter will like it because they're very soft colors that she can wear to school or, you know, when we go out or whatever. So my daughter will like it. My daughter's 15 or even younger girls like 13 or maybe 12 if you let them play with makeup. This would be a nice eyeshadow palette to give to them because the, the colors are pigmented but to a certain extent they're more lightly pigmented um if you will so it's a very pretty eyeshadow palette um i like it a lot um 
so that was the entire my little twins collection i hope that you enjoyed this video i still wanted to um show it because i did buy this a while ago but i didn't get a chance to film the video before my surgery and then um of course i had surgery and i wasn't really in the mood to like sit down and film any videos i was doing a lot of like vlogging and stuff like that um but i still wanted to show this collection because i feel like it's so cute it's such a cute collection um especially if you are into like some real characters i think that this is a beautiful collector's item it's so so cute the box itself is beautiful um so yeah i just wanted to make this video and give you my thoughts on this collection and like i said you can still get the entire collection on amazon you can get bits and pieces of this collection on the wet and wild website as well and then people have been finding these items at tj maxx and marshall's as well so there's a lot of, of spaces that you can still find this collection if you're still in the hunt for it um, like I said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys on my next one. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It will mean the world to me. Um, don't forget to like this video and yeah, we have a lot of fun here and I hope that you stick around. So I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye.